Restarting stream after some network issues. Uh, Timestamps in the description, but there's not going to be so much faffing about this time. Let's go live. Okay. Um, right. With any luck, I'm back, or will be very soon. Uh, let's see how stable that is on Twitch. Well, the so on my end, Twitch is behaving itself now. I think. Dominators look fine. Oh, thank goodness for that. Um, well, I'll add the uh, baseline score to the title. Um, and I, I guess I'll just pop a quick message in the Discord. Um, saying that I, I'm back after some issues. If I can type straight, back after technical issues. All right. Well, good. Um, I guess, actually, I want to show off uh, something that I find kind of interesting. Um, and this is maybe a bit more on the rambly side, so I'll do that. Um, hopefully people went to get a cup of tea and what have you, so uh, it might be a while before people come back in. Um, so, uh, this graphics card uh, has Alpida memory, um, and it's uh, if we look in the BIOS, uh, for memory timings, the only entry is for Alpida BBBG, right? Um, so I actually found the data sheet for that. Um, the really interesting thing for a certain definition of interesting is, where is it? Yeah, it's here. Um, so uh, this graphics card has 6 gigabit per second memory, right? So it's... Um, 1500 megahertz, it's times 4, so that's um, you know 6000 megabits per second, 6 gigabits per second. Um, so that's that row. And that's spec at 1.6 volts, right? Now, if I switch to just the camera for a minute, and hopefully this is going to come through all right. Um, now, I'm just going to pull ground from the case, which, no, wait. No, the place where I pulled ground from on the case, I've put screwing. Damn. Uh, I guess I can, I can pull ground from there if I can hold that steady. And then if I stab there for the memory voltage, you can see it's 1.55. So I. Oh, now you can't see it's 1.55 because the multimeter's out of shot. There we go. There we are. Um, now the, the memory uh, controller is dumb as a bag of rocks. However, what I'll do is I'll just I'll start the render test. And I'll drag that over so that hope wait where. There, you can see it on camera. Um, all right. Again, I'll uh, probe the memory. So it's still basically the same. It's gone up a little bit, and I think that's just because um, there's more power being pulled by the memory, so there's a bit of voltage drop, and obviously I'm, I'm measuring off the choke leg. Um, but it's not 1.6 volts, even at the choke. If I was actually, um, I don't uh, trust myself to measure actually at the memory chips, but it would be even lower. So I find that really interesting because I think it's actually running a little bit um, out of spec. I think it's running a little bit low on the memory voltage. Um, I have figured out a volt mod. Um, the controller, uh, what was it? It was an NTP something. 
Uh, I was posting about it in the Discord earlier, but uh, where is it? It is an NCP uh, fifteen eighty seven. Uh, is what it is. Um, so the way that it works is it's got an internal 0 0.8 volt reference voltage and uh, yeah you know what I'll try and uh, it's going to be really difficult I'm going to need a a ground that I can just ignore there we go stick that through the screw hole and that gives me a ground so I'll just Yep, so that's still working. Now, if I can get the feedback pin, which is a really delicate operation, you should see 0 0.8. Yep, it is. Well, whatever happened there, I didn't crash it, so that's a good sign. Yeah, there we are. So it's 0.8 volts on feedback. I find that really interesting. Um, so the way that it um, achieves the output voltage is it just has an internal 0.8 volt reference and it tries to hit that on the feedback pin and then it's just you have a resistor from uh, memory voltage to feedback and a resistor from feedback to ground. Um, so effectively if you do a feedback mod on that controller you put um, another resistor between feedback and ground um, that pulls down the voltage on feedback so the controller raises the voltage to get it back up to 0.8 um, but it's interesting that that's actually um, intended use you have effectively a controller um, that's set to a fixed voltage and then you just design a feedback mod on the card in a way to get the desired voltage I, I thought that was interesting um, Right, well, uh, that digression aside, um, let's actually do some overclocking. Um, so I have a version of Sapphire Tricks. Um, it's the same one that I've used previously. This is hex edited for voltage control. However, there is a problem here. Um, the problem is, it doesn't, unless something has changed since I was pre testing, it doesn't set core clock. Um, so let's uh, start the render test. You can see 1275 set in tricks, and we're getting a 1050. Um, so, what can work is I can set a voltage in tricks and then set core clock in afterburner. But I'm going to start with just afterburner. So max out the power limit. Uh, to max out the fan speed, you have to click this weird like A that's not even a normal A. It, um, but yeah, and that takes it off of auto, and then you can set a manual fan speed. Um, and you know what? Knowing Bonaire. I'm going to try just the limits. I'm going to try 13, 20, 1800 right out of the gate. Because my understanding of this chip is that it has a habit of just doing the highest possible clock that you can set. So we'll try that, uh, make sure that we've got the right test selected, and let's give that a go. Um, Salty says, don't you want to do timings mod so it's all set before you start? Um, oh, okay, well that... Um, system info failed, that's weird. I'll give that another go just in case. Um, I do want to do timings mods, but I don't want to do them right away. Um, I want to get some scores and then I want to see what effect the timings mods have. Right, let's try that again. Uh, Alice says the fan slider enabler was I'm in a nice place in the old cyborg themes. Yeah, fully agree. Uh, 
I don't like the new theme. I definitely don't like that you have this weird, like, logo stylized A that you're supposed to know is the. Oh, that's not stable, is it? Okay, well, so much for Yeet. Um, it was worth a go. I bet that's memory. It wouldn't surprise me if it's memory. Um, let's try just core clock with stock mem. I am being like really aggressive here, um, probably too aggressive. And also, I should really do a run with GPU Z sensors open. I should have picked a shorter benchmark than Vantage. That's what I should have done. Okay, no, wasn't the mem, or well, maybe it was the mem, but it it's definitely not happy with just jumping to thirteen twenty core. Cloudgate. Uh, I can't make a valid score with Cloudgate because um, 3D Mark thinks that I'm messing with tessellation. Although, wait, does Cloudgate have tests? I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, let's do 1200 core. That's probably going to work. I think it was the original 7790 had fairly conservative clock limit. Um, and so all of the reviews on that were just like, yeah, you just max everything out. But then the later cards, I think, were a bit, um, a bit more aggressively clocked, so they had higher clock limits. Hello, Tech Tested. Good to see you. I suppose the good news is, if I keep being this aggressive, it's going to keep crashing really early in the benchmark. Um... And that way it won't take very long to test. Although this seems to be running. This has not crashed immediately. So that's nice. How are you doing Matt? How are things? I just realised there's multiple mats in the chat. I'm talking to tech testers, although I do care about how all of you are doing. Are there multiple mats? Wait, I think so. You're running Vantage 2? Ah, oh, cool. Ah, Country Cup, yes. That. Yeah, it... it I'm not doing Country Cup. Um, what what happened is I said that I would only bench for Team Cup if England um, won, I can't remember if it was the World Cup or the Euros, but whatever the football thing was. And they didn't, but then I benched for Team Cup anyway. Um, so I, I need to get my like not benching in a competition in from earlier this year. And also, I don't want to. Um, had a lot on, but it's, it's really good to get back to streaming. Um, Salty said, Core Clock usually crashes at the start of GT2 if they're on the edge of being stable. Alright, that'll be interesting then. Bilko says, I've done my submission for Country Cup. Submission singular? Back to hibernation, yes. Well, Vantage takes a while to run now. Hardwarebot.org slash user slash Bilco. Was there an underscore on Hardwarebot? I'll find out. Nope, no underscore. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. 
you got um, an 8.2 gigahertz CPU frequency on FX, well done. There's the score that Bilko's talking about and White Shark's talking about. Wakes up, drops 8.2G, goes back to hibernation. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tech Tested says, I'm just trying to fill some gaps. Uh, probably won't get competitive score, but better to have bad scores than no scores. Yeah, absolutely, that's true. The important thing is the 9590 still lives. Yes, that's always good news. Wow, that's actually really, that's top 10 for the chip, and like, top 50 worldwide, that's not bad at all. Uh, Tech Tested says my 9590 would not budge past 7.976, Bilko says 9590s are weird. Yeah, um, my understanding of batches for AMD chips is that... Uh, is it like 2013 and 14 batches tend to be the best? But then the 9590 wasn't released until fairly late, was it? Um, let me Google this real quick. Yeah, so the 9590 went retail in like late 2014. So it's exactly at that time that AMD started... Um, like the Anantech mentioned the launch in August 2014. So that's the time that, like, um, you know, samples started coming out, that, uh, like, um, uh, what is it, lower leakage. And, ooh, hello, what was that? Okay, that's just in between tests, okay. Bilko says, no, no, mine's a week 16. Ah, yes, but they, there was OEM ones for ages, wasn't there? Um, before the retail launch. Um... Let me see if I can find this. Um, so, an Antec article links to a, a different article about uh, retailers dropping prices on their OEM stock, but that does that even have a Oh wow, yeah, okay, so there's there's an article from 2013, August 2013 here, about a price cut. So it's about 9590s showing up that were actually um, £300 rather than 700 because they, they launched at this sort of ridiculous halo price. And that's from 2013. Um... Yeah, you had to get them from either OEM retailers or find a warehouse. One mine was the latter. Yeah, fair enough. New York used to do free shipping to Australia. Nice. Uh, right, we have a score. Uh, 25.4k. So, uh, I guess, how does that compare? Yeah, that's a nice boost. Uh, 25441. White Shark says, Mick, you have a UD7, right? I actually have two. Um, but yes. Uh, let's just try Yeet Memory Clock again, just to see what happens. What revision? Um, oh, well, what's going on here? System in close scan failed. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, Bilko says the good one. I don't know. I'll see. I don't know because I've got two of them. I'll I'll check in a moment. Hold on. See if I can actually see if this actually runs. Because one of my UD7 sucks at base clock. Like it has a wall at 250 or so, or below 250 actually. And then the other one's really good for base clock. The one that I have to hand is the one that sucks. So I can check the revision on that quite easily. Um, but I just want to 
see if this actually starts running. Okay, we're running. Good. Right, um... Uni 7, revision 1.1. 1 .1. And that the one that sucks at base clock is a 1.1. 1 .1. Um... Uh, you know what? Where's the other one? I have a lot of boxes here, and it's going to be in one of the boxes, probably. Or it might be in... I have a lot of boxes in other rooms as well. It might be in one of those. Uh, uh, let me look through. That's uh, X79 board there. Uh, that's, uh, that's crosshair. Uh, what's under there? That's, um, that's the X99 and totality. Uh, what have we got here? That's an A bit 478 board. Oh, oh, no, that's the 78 MMT USB 3. Um, more 478. I think that's more 478 or something under that. Uh, MSI board, Gigabyte 725. Uh, Asus B550. No, I don't think it's in here. I think it's going to be somewhere else. Sorry. Um, Tech Tested says 3D Mark 01 is basically just a CPU test at this point, right? Uh, yeah. Um, Salty says yes, but 3D03 is still a GPU test. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Because like 3D Mark 03 is, I mean, it's super CPU bound in, uh, as well. But yeah, uh, that's true. Um, GPU actually matters for 03, which is cool. Uh, I, I shouldn't have shouted from across the room. I've got a tickle in my throat now. It's a tempting post-COVID fate. I do have a bottle of water to hand, though, so that's hopefully fine. I think I'm all right. Wilco says, yeah, if you want easy points, just run every GPU through new platforms. I agree. I mean, I say that. I mean, the thing is that this setup is not going to be a very good setup for the like um, the older 3D marks, and then for the newer ones, it's still GPU bound anyway. But the 5950X helps. Uh, Tech Tested says my newest platform is X99. Log X99s are not bad. You you can do pretty well on it. Like. The stuff that I'm like the 260x, um, I think you could be pretty much competitive on X99 if I'm honest. Um, it wouldn't make too much difference. It's, it's going to make a bit of difference, but not much. Um, Salty says 5950x can still smash Vantage in 3D11. Yeah, that's true. That's that's the plan anyway. Fingers crossed. Uh, it seemed to work out alright for the 7750 anyway. Um, how are my 7750 scores doing? Hardware bot 7750. Let's look this up. Um... So there's a couple, yeah, so Yi has a 2 gig card, so he's ahead of me in Fire Strike, Ultra and Extreme. And the Time Spy is, I think, is that Yi in Wildlife as well? Yeah, it is. Um, and then there's a couple of older ones that I just didn't bench, because I couldn't get them running on 10 and I couldn't be bothered to set anything else up. And I couldn't be um, 12 in GPU Pi 1B because I can't cheese that with CPU and because he was actually really clocked up for it. Um, Yee's ahead of me in superposition as well. Alright.
Uh, Salty says on X99 you can probably still get top scores for multi GPUs that are old enough to require XP. Yeah, that's a really good point actually. Yeah, that's definitely a use for X99 there. Because uh, XP on X299, I think that would be a bit painful. <laughs> Is there stuff that does quad SLI or like quad GPU and still requires XP? Hmm. Well, I suppose anything that old is more likely to be GPU bound, isn't it? Just in general. Uh, 27099. Right. Um, that's a solid gain. That's a sort of 1600 point gain. Brilliant. Well, good progress. Um, so that's memory clock maxed out in Afterburner. Um, I might be able to set higher in tricks. Let's try that. So tricks resets my core clock. Yeah, so Trix will let me set a higher memory clock. So let's see if I can set... If I can set 2000 memory clock in Trix. Oh, well that definitely applies. Insofar as it's clearly really unhappy. Uh, let's back that off to 1900. Because that's um, artifacting on the desktop, which is not a good sign. 1900 is still artifacting on the desktop. 1800 is still artifacting on the desktop. What? That's weird. Um, let's just... Uh, Reboot this system just in case. It's pissed now, got a driver restart. Yes. There is, um, there's a key combination for driver restart, isn't it? Wing control shift B or something. Once you balk it, you got to restart the driver. Yeah, <laughs> balk. I like the word balk. Yes, although it's it's been really good at recovering lately. Um, like any like modern AMD driver is really good at recovering. Um, I get the impression that there was all, all of the crashing issues, um, which I suspect were just. Um, I don't know if whether it would be appropriate to say that it was a power su supply problem or if it was an input filtering problem, but um, I get the impression that some of the cards just they had harder transients than the input filtering and or power supplies in, in those configurations could handle. So it, it was like a problem with the physical cards and then the driver team keeps being told, fix it, fix it, fi fix it. And the, the driver team en ends up just going, fine, we'll make it so that when the card crashes, it will just recover cleanly. I mean, fair enough, that's one solution. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just, this is a theory for me, but like, if it was a driver issue, then it would, firstly, it would apply to less situations. It wouldn't be such a broad thing. And secondly, it would be fixed by now. Anyway. Um, what was I doing? Ah, yes, I was going to try 1900 mem. Uh, Bilko says pebcac. Uh, maybe. Oh, it's not liking nine. Oh, is that okay? We'll see, but that that's not looking great for nineteen hundred either. No, I think Afterburn is still resetting it. Hey, that worked. It, it was Win Control Shift B. Brilliant. Um, Right. I 
I'm interested what kind of temperatures it's um, got, to got to apply with tricks while afterburners open. Oh no. Uh, let's just try something conservative. So like 1820. Hmm. So what's that done? Oh, that's not even applied the memory clock at all. That's a, that's a stock somehow. Okay. So wind control should be again. Um. Yoz says, that said, I did witness a 6900 XT that had issues at stock at the last LAN party I was at, but I'm not convinced it was driver, as after RMA it worked. Yeah, well, exactly, right? I mean, it's if it's if it was the case that the voltage was just dipping too low during transients, then the nature of an RMA is you might get a better binned model, right? You might get something that can take that lower voltage just because of silicon lottery. Um, so even if the design hasn't changed, even if the voltage dips are the same, maybe the chip can just handle it. Um. But who's going to get the wrap, power colour or AMD drivers? I mean, it's always fun to give power colour. <laughs> no, I, I like power colour. They, they made some good cards once. Um, right, yeah, I wanted to see what kind of temperature it was hitting. Um, so, fire up GPU Z. Sensors tab, advantage. Uh, I'll just hit run. Go on. Right, and then once that's run for a little bit, I'll um, quit out of it. Uh, Bilko says I have a 6900 XT Red Devil Ultimate, and so far it's been brilliant. Yeah, fair enough. Um, White Shark says they made cool cards, not sure if they made good cards. I have had power colour cards in the past. I've dailied power colour in the past, and it was good. Um, the cooler... Um, on Power Colors uh, 7870s, the single fan one was a really nice cooler. Um, I actually um, I ended up using that cooler on 48 a 4870 to like keep the 4870 like near silent. That was fun. Good times, well not great times, but yeah. Um, Bilko was saying the fact that you have land parties well while that has been in stock is the biggest joy for me. Ah, oh, it's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. I have really mixed feelings about it all. It well It's interesting in the US, because the thing about the US is aside from like um California and New York, everybody drives everywhere. Like people don't tend to be that close together and I think that's why um, it's why the case rate has remained pretty low in the US, well not now but like why for a long time the case, case rate did remain pretty low in the US despite next to no action being taken uh, but yeah it's it's um I don't know, I think when people... Oh, well, on the one hand, I forgot to quit out of it, but on the other hand, it quit out of itself, which is worrying, because those are the settings that... Um, those are the settings that worked last time. <laughs> okay, well, what temperature? We were seeing a 54... 
is the highest temperature we were seeing. Oh no. So the 3D monk was complaining about full screen state loss, which is annoying. <sighs> well, the temperatures look fine, so I'm comfortable giving it more voltage. Um, but I'm going to reboot first. At some point, I need to uh, do a calling mod of some description. I actually have... Um, I have no idea where the fans from it are, but I have uh, an old Arctic uh, Accelero. I think this is the original Accelero cooler, like the original twin fan one. Um, that should fit it. Um, uh, yeah. Bilko says people are still buying EVGA 3090s, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Um, what was the... I, I can't even remember what the thing was with the EVGA 3090s, to be honest. Um, but have you have you seen the latest thing with Asus uh, Z690... I think it's the Z690 Hero? Oh, yeah, New World, right. Um, I, fan controller. I don't think it's fan control. It's uh, something about... I think it's actually NVIDIA's reference design. Um has a really weird phase balancing thing going on um, so what was happening is you had this teamed phase and Nvidia don't use smart power stages they use um, I think they're drive really basic driver MOSFETs or something um, so you have a power spike going through that phase and then one of the driver MOSFETs is taking the brunt of it and it doesn't have a way of signalling it um, and it, it goes kablooey yeah that one yes I remember now yeah and the interesting thing was that the um, you know I should really start the benchmark I, I should start running something So we were, you know what, if we're at plus 100 millivolts, let's see if 1320 works. It probably should. Um, the fans are really not that loud at 100%. There's definitely room for improvement. Right. Bilko says, sounds like they need a better reference design. Yeah, no kidding. So, yeah, the really um, interesting thing is that there's a down-costed version of the reference design where rather than a teamed phase there, it's just uh, one driver MOSFET instead. So they've actually got one less phase. And those ones are fine. Those ones do not explode. Um, they don't catch fire. Because the current balancing actually works. Um... But when they have like a teamed phase and then they've like skewed the current balancing to put more current through the teamed phase, um, that, that's a problem. Uh, that has some issues um, or can have some issues. Um, but yeah, Asus Z690 is a really bad one because they got a capacitor backwards somehow on a batch of boards. And so, um, yeah, they're just catching fire, uh, which is great. I think Gamers Nexus have put something out recently about a monitor as well. So I know that Gamers Nexus did a disappointment PC build uh, at one point. So it wouldn't surprise me if like they do a fire hazard build this year or something. <laughs> uh, Yoz says, my only complaint I've ever had with a power colour card was my 390X2 fans with DOA and it seems common. Yeah, the the I had a three. I think it was a three ninety X two, and uh, the fans on that had been replaced. Launch thirty ninety plus gigabyte PSU. Yeah, it'd be a 
a launch 3090 gigabyte PSU uh, Z690 Hero that monitor uh, oh right yeah because it's the NZXT ITX case that had the problem and you can't fit it yeah good point Alice that's unfortunate I suppose you could use a different NZXT case just you know in spirit but yeah it's you know it's been a great time for quality control and fires. I'm actually not 100% sure where I go from here. Um, like, I'll, ha I'll have to see if Radeon settings lets me set higher clocks than this. Because I've maxed out the sliders in after, but... Oh, wait, no, BIOS mod. BIOS mod should um, expand the sliders as well, shouldn't it? I think. It's going to be BIOS modding next, isn't it? That that will um, that will keep Salty happy. Salty says no. You can't expand the sliders through a BIOS mod. Well, it won't keep you happy. You can extend the sliders on MSI Afterburner. I thought so, yeah. I thought I already had that checked. I'll, I'll double check in settings after this run. But I, I thought I'd already ticked that. But we'll see. We will find out. Oh my... Yeah, I, I did Afterburner make you reboot if not you haven't fully extended on AMD. It did make me reboot. And yeah, I, I know what you mean. They should go, maybe I need an older version of Afterburner. Because, um, yeah, I agree that they should just go to Infinity. God, do you remember that song by the Guru Josh Project, Infinity 2008? Uh, that was a different time. I, I'm not going to start singing this early on a stream, though. Nobody needs that. Nobody. Yours says, I think. It was the one that had... Um, it, it was really saxophone heavy. It's one of, like, two pop songs that I can remember. That uh, is it vaguely house genre? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I can think of two, like, popular songs that really heavily featured sax saxophones. One was that. And the other one... No, wait. I... Did Lady Gaga have one as well? But there's... Alan... Uh... Oh, goodness. This was so long ago. There's one called Mr. Saxo Beat. And I don't... I want to say Alexandra Stan. And I think that's wrong. Um... Like, that, that doesn't sound right. Who the hell is called Alexandra Stan? That can't be correct. Has Vantage crashed... It's crashed, hasn't it? It is Alexandra Stan. Oh, cool. Well, I, I feel a bit bad now. I was just saying it was a ridiculous name and therefore couldn't be right. Um, fair enough. But yeah, I feel like... I don't know if it's that the original had it or if it just like worked well on sex favourite. I think there's Lady Gaga's Edge of Glory, maybe? Um... Alice says main saxophone heavy pop song I remember is uh, is that Jubel by Klingander? It, that's um, I, I assume that's not uh, that's a, like a German thing I, therefore I probably mangled the pronunciation as well right, Vantage clearly crashed so I guess 1300 because it got most of the way actually no while we're here huh well how about that extend 
official. Wait, no. Oh, um, I reinstalled the drivers after installing and setting up Afterburner. That's why. And you know, while I'm here, let's check force constant voltage. Um. Velko says that's a do it. Yep. Alice says French actually. Oh, okay. Is this Windows 8? No, it's Windows 10. Also disable checks on startup. Whoops. Yeah, I missed that, didn't I? That's a really old picture of me, by the way, and it's because um, this version of this copy of Windows is actually linked to my Microsoft account. And it, it is Windows 10, it's just really heavily. Um... Yeah, let's. Uh... Where is it? Never. Never. Ever. Never check for available product updates. It feels weird hearing it called a product as well. Um, anyway, those settings are what I want, aren't they? Yeah, 1300, 1800. Let's give it a go. Do 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 I, I'm really happy with like I don't know if it's the light on the camera or if it's the desk lamp that I've also got on the system but the way that the light is catching the uh, gear there on the uh, motherboard is really good um, I wonder which it is I'll try turning the desk lamp off yeah it's the desk lamp cool Uh, the X570 Tai Chi is a really nice looking board. I really like it. I, I, I know, I, I sort of... I'm, I'm generally against, like, just putting covers on everything. But, like, at least ASRock had the decency to cover the covers in, like, you know, gears and stuff. Like, if you have to put a cover on something, at least glue a gear to it. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't like the whole clean look, you know. I think if you want a computer that like has a clean look, right? Where you can't there, there's nothing like complicated, there's nothing visually busy, it's all clean, smooth and like, you know, solid colors. If that's what you want your computer to look like, right? Put it in a case that doesn't have a window. Right? you know don't put a plastic cover on the motherboard that's like a solid color like oh no i must look at the motherboard but the motherboard must not have anything going on visually no just put the motherboard in a bloody box motherboards should look interesting they should have stuff going on visually and if you don't like it just don't look at it Bilko says can't see my board. Yeah, and that's valid. That's fine. It's just I don't know, some boards like Um Where is it? It's at the bottom of a stack of boxes. Wonderful. Uh Ah screw it. Fancy just long benchmark and I'm off on one. Let's uh It's not, it's not the worst offender uh, by a long way, but it's the worst offender that I have on hand. Uh, this. The Unify X is so, like, it's not that bad, but it's so boring. It's just black. Everything's just black. Uh... 
I, I can't really complain about the Unify X though, because everything that's like covering anything on it is actually a heatsink. So, yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, I can't actually blame them for that, can I? Damn. But still, I, just because I haven't bought the boards that do it doesn't mean they don't exist. It's annoying. Oh, and another thing. It's going to keep happening. Um, motherboard makers are going to keep doing it. Um... The thing is that, like, motherboard makers want to showcase their products through these, you know, various sponsored, like, showcase builds, right? Whether it's YouTube channels, whether it's, you know, from modders. So they want builds that incorporate their motherboards that show off the motherboards, right? But sometimes you want a build that has a clean look. And what you should be doing is you should just put it all in a box. But if you have a motherboard maker that's sponsoring you that wants their motherboard visible, you have to have the motherboard visible. And so you end up with a motherboard that has, like, just a, a plastic cover across everything. Um, Yoz says NZXT motherboards are top quality. Um, well, the more recent ones are okay, aren't they? Because they're made by ASRock. Oh, hello. What's happened here? User abort? User abort? User abort? What do you mean, user abort? <laughs> okay. I have a theory. It, it, it's not much of a theory. Uh, my theory is that it's the mem. So, how much do I want to back off on them? Let's back off to 1700. Oh. That's not a good sign. Uh, okay. Um, restart. Yoz says, Asrock does some cool customs. Seen the Server X299 board with Splave B die profile from OCF. Completely different PCB too. That's interesting. I assume that's for that one uh, overclocked server company that you work with. This time I'm going to try 1700 mem and 1300 core. Why did you reset? 1700 there. Oh, fan, fan speed, max. So what I'm thinking is maybe the plus 100 millivolt is giving us that older uh, negative memory scaling issue. You know, since we don't have BDDCI control. Um, so let's see if this passes now. I haven't looked into VDDCI control on this actually. I, I think I found a data sheet for the controller, but it didn't really mention it. It's the NCP81022. It's a 4 plus 1 phase controller. I think it's in 3 plus 1 mode on this card. Uh, so I think that's handling VDDCI. But I don't know... Um, is it a f through feedback? Yeah, there's a, a pin that's feedback north bridge. FBNB. 
Um, but you can set um, you can set voltage, you know, in software for VDD. Right, so it, it is possible over the SVI2 interface of which it has to set um, the Northbridge voltage, which is VDDCI in this case. But I don't know if there's software in existence that does it. Hmm. Hmm. It's probably possible. Wait, would it be possible to just feedback mod it? I'm actually not sure. Is that a typical application circuit here? Hmm, doesn't seem to be. That's annoying. But yeah, the controller fully supports um, software, VD, um, whatever it was. VDDCI? I, I've, I've said it so many times it feels wrong now. However, Afterburner doesn't support it. I'm not sure if it's maybe the BIOS. I don't know. Someone said I should finish the video game I'm working on before I buy a new one. How to beat 3D Mark? Look, I mean I know you're joking, but also that's bad advice just in general. Like. Games are supposed to be something that you do for fun. Um, if it's not fun, um, you can mod VDDCI in BIOS. Sweet! Well, we'll be doing that then. Um, what was I pontificating about? Yes, games. Games are supposed to be fun. Like, if you're forcing yourself to play a game just to get through it, it's not fun. Yeah. Leisure time is important. If you if you're never relaxing properly, then you, you're you know you're never going to um, I don't know feel relaxed. I guess it feels like I'm repeating myself. It's like a um, tautology. Is that the word? Hardware bot is not about fun, though. Hardware bot is serious business. Yes, I agree. <sighs> Nothing says serious like running an R7260X with a 5950X. It's a very serious setup. done soon please please finish this test although you know I guess I should be glad it's not crashing because it kind of proves I was right <sighs> tech tested says, I'm going to see if my three-way GTX 260 can beat your 260X. Ooh, that sounds fun. Alice says, just your average shortage team red build. I, Yeah, you have a point. I'm actually dailying um, an R... I think it's an R9360E or something. Um, it's like, it's the same... It's a Bonaire chip, but it's really power-limited. Um, out of some OEM system. It's got a red PCB. It looks really cool. But yeah, uh, that's... Um, it is not a fast GPU. 
Um, I think it's it's got more because that's a one gig card, um, whereas the card I'm dailying is two gig. But it's it's slow. It, it's really slow. <laughs> I've been pl playing more Just Cause three recently, um, and that's about the limit for what that card can play. Anyway, we have a score, uh, 28k. How is that? Ooh, nice. That's another thousand points right there. Uh, that's from the extra um, core clock, I guess. 28139. Um, right. Well. Should I actually save this one? Let's save it. Why not? I'll make sure that uh, CPUZ and GPUZ are up to date while I'm doing this. Anyway, yeah, it is okay. Great. Uh, Yours is expressing his concern about the uh, CRC QD uh, contact cleaner stock. Hmm. Have you considered just drying your boards out properly, like with a hairdryer and a fan, rather than just like spraying them down? <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to need a sensors tab for this really, aren't I? Max, Max, uh, VDBC, Max. Oh, I need more, um, oh boy, I need some folders at some point, uh, damn, that's going to be an issue, let's create a folder called old, let's move, oh, I can't move, right, Open File Explorer, move everything into old. There we go. Vant28139. Right, good, well. <coughs> Yours says hair dry leaves residue from the water. I I don't know about that. It's the thing is, condensation should be pretty pure. So I, I don't see where the residue would come from. Oh, we're, we're going to have a, a lively discussion, I think, between Bilko and Yoz about insulation practices. Um. So, before BIOS modding, my understanding is it's a good idea to reset your overclock. Or, to put it another way, it's a horrible idea to not reset your overclock. Um, so that's reset now. So 
So, should I create a folder for this? I probably should. 260x BIOS. Alright, and I have a couple of um, things on my gigantic USB stick. Um, so I found, I don't know if this is the right thing, but I found this um, Hawaii BIOS reader, which seems to work. So. Where did I leave the file? It was in the 260x BIOS. Yep, there we are. Okay, so. Um, what do we want to look at? Um, so there's memory timings. Uh, where are they? And we have VDDCI. Ah, we have VDDCI states. Okay, so that's something that we can do a thing with. Uh, Salty says won't work VBE7. For Bonaire? I thought VBE7 was GCN1. This is GCN2. Never mind, fair enough. Uh, I have a hex editor as well. Um, Cause I'll probably be able to find um, memory timings somewhere. Yeah, there's nothing here that looks like a memory timing strap, unless I'm just really missing something. Um, it's interesting that apparently the maximum... Um, you, you'll need hex editor for timing mods. Yeah, fair enough. Apparently the maximum ASIC temperature in this BIOS is zero, which I think means that there's no thermal throttling. Um... Okay, well, if I'm going to try and BIOS mod uh, VDDCI, then I should check what it's doing at the moment. So, uh, let's switch to the camera so that you can see the multimeter properly. I'm actually really pleased with how well that stays in place. Um, start render test. So we have four phases along here, three of which are going to be the core, and one of which is going to be VDDCI. So I suspect VDDCI is going to be the nearest one. So I think this one is core. Yep, and that's doing, what, 1.2 volts? And this one is hopefully VDDCI, and that's at 0.95. Okay, brilliant. So we know that VDDCI is going to do 0.95 volts at the moment. Uh, that's measured at the inductor. Um, so our VDDCI states we have one at. 800 and 1 at 925, that'll be in millivolts. So let's change them both to 1,000. Right. And then let's hit save file. Bonaire VDDCI 1000. That seems reasonable. Um, 
Okay. And now we need to flash it. Let's just copy the flash and utility into the same folder. Uh, I've not used this before. Um, if there were, there's a readme. MDVB flash is a view. Where's word wrap? I swear Notepad has. There we are. AMD VB Flash is a console and GUI utility for AMD GPU devices and a blah blah blah. Um, installation and launch. Uh, requires installation of the software on your system. Will install a Rignault driver, which is a security risk. You have to run AMD VB Flash driver installer first. Okay. Um, I guess by capital I it means lowercase i. Once you are finished with flashing, make sure to uninstall. So that's because it's a security risk, I guess. Um, documentation. See the included PDF. AMD confidential <laughs> distribution with NDA. Well, hopefully there's no AMD employees watching. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is from Tech Power. I assume that like they're allowed to release this. Um, Salty is saying just open the program. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, Well, that doesn't seem to... Oh, no, here we are, here we are. Okay, yeah, that looks very uh, self-explanatory. Load image. And then it's uh, literally just program, I guess. Slightly concerned by the difference in image size reported between the uh, current and new VBIOS, but I'm sure if there's a problem, I don't know, we'll see. Salty says, I love AMD cards for that, far more simple than NV Flash. Yeah, I think I've used NV Flash in the past, I remember it not being fun. Well, fingers crossed, fingers crossed this works. Because, um, I mean, if, it's, if it doesn't work, that's probably it for the stream. Well, I don't know. How long would it take me to recover? I need to boot with a different card and then flash. Mm. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, no, if it, if it fails, the stream's not over. But it, it shouldn't fail. So, you know, touch wood, have some wood. Yeah, don't I? Yeah. Um, <sighs> always tense. Progress bar just sat there menacingly. <laughs> Uh, Bill goes off. Um, Bill goes says, "All right, I got to take off. Good luck and enjoy. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah. Um, fingers crossed. I mean, hopefully, what this will do is it will give me more memory speed. But we'll we'll see. Um, yeah. Thanks and yeah. See you later. Uh, Salty says that's okay. Two ninety X takes forever to flash. Good. It's good to know. So this is expected." Uh, is the 260X basically a 7790? Yes. Especially this one, because this one's only one gig. Um, at least it's not flashing a 295X2, says yours. 
Does the 295X2 have one BIOS or two? it has two? Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. Your VBIOS was programmed successfully. Hooray! Okay. You have to reboot this system before the changes take effect. Alright. Master and slave, but you can't mix them up, says Salty, about the, um... 295X2 technically has four... One for each core, one for the PLX. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That sounds like a lot, a lot to deal with. Yeah. Right. Well, we're back in Windows. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to log in. I'm just going to switch to the camera because I did the idle state as well. So this should... That's still 800 millivolts. Damn, it was supposed to be more than that. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, let's... Um, CPU's head. Private render test. Um, nope. That's one thing I've done wrong. I need my ground. Nope, that's um, still the same as it was, I believe. Huh. Still 0.95 volts. <sighs> that's annoying. Right. So after all that, I mean this is the first time, certainly the first time modding a BIOS on this car. So the first thing that I'm wondering is did I just screw something up? So I'm going to do what I should have done before, I'm going to open the same file that I modded and we'll see, yeah no it is showing the new values. Okay, so it just hasn't worked, basically. Uh, alright. Well, I guess it's um, hex edit time, so I'll... It's a, it's a hex edit, for goodness sake, come on. Right, so I'm going to work off of the original BIOS, since apparently the changes didn't work. Um, so, what now? Uh, GPU Z. Yoz says, so I found out something cursed. You can use Google Drive as a swap partition. I, oh my god. I, that's, yeah. You're not wrong, that's cursed. Right. So those are hex values, aren't they? So what am I looking for? Um, uh, right. Control F. Um, seven 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 one three three. Three, two. Can't find. What?
Salty says I'd use the 1375 timings. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but, like, I need to find the bloody things first. that's like looking repetitive is the I, I'm annoyed why why isn't the search function at work? Let's try that again from the beginning. Oh right, I was looking for a text string rather than hex values. That would do it. I copy if I copy that what does it give me? Right. That's why the search function didn't work. Can't find mistake. Can't or won't. Oh, I left the multimeter on. That's what that was. Um, what's the end of that string look like? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, let's search back. What? We can't find it searching for. Oh, right, because we're not at the end of the document. Uh, document. So if I do it now. Yes. Except that's not it, because that. Wait, no, yeah. Um, 3 5. So it's 4 0, then B5, then 6 A, and all of that. Yeah. So seventy seven seventy one zero B five six A um six three. Uh how did this end? It should end in F thirteen, is that it? Let me just copy that and see if it's the right length. This seems like a, a suboptimal way of doing it. But That's not the right length. Okay, what? Is 
There's more zeros. There's like... There's four double zeros here, and GPU goes... So GPU Z is, let's copy what GPU Z thinks it should be. So we have the 20 and then we have 0, 0, 0, 0. This we have the 20 and then we have double zero, double zero, double zero, double zero. Two, three, four. But that doesn't make up the length. Oh Lord. Um So basically GPU Z is screwing with me. Um because we have random zeros getting dropped. Like here, there's an, the BIOS has an extra zero. So it's like zero five, then here there's an, an extra zero, and then here there's an extra zero. And here, and here, and here, and so on. And I, I think if we go through and add all of those zeros, it's the same. So, we have located the memory timings, it's just that what GPU said. Yoz just had a realisation about country cut in chat there. What GPU said thinks the memory timings are is not what um, the BIOS has. Okay. So the 1750 timing starts at B18E and they go through to B1BC. I think... Mm. I want to mod the 1625 strap because I think 1750 I don't fully trust to run anyway. So I'll try like just under 1750, I guess, until I can get BDDCI worked out. So then this is going to be the 1625 strap here. So that should go through to B13. Yeah, there we are. So that starts at B159 and goes through to B188 Is that a different fucking length? What's going on there? That's not right, is it? 2E3B13 
do we have to pull that? Oh lord. <sighs> okay, well at least we have the 1625 strap located. No, not, not in the notepad. So the, the 1375 strap should end in 311. So I think it's that. Okay. And then 1625, B159, through to that. Um, and can I just, I can just paste that in. Okay. And then I can save that as Bonair underscore thirteen seventy five or sixteen twenty five dot wrong. And that should work. Hopefully maybe. Hopefully that will mean once I go, no it won't, why won't it work? Check something valid. Ugh, my. I want to see what happens. Right. I don't know, because the CRC was different before. It's not complained about a checksum yet. Unless the complaining about a checksum happens when you try and boot up. In which case we'll find out. Oh. VBIOS image not found. I see what you mean. Oh, fuck off. Why? Why? Why is it you give me like three approved programs I might want to use and then you throw me into this 1998 shit? How are you so terrible? Okay, open a white thing, loads your mother's bias. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's, let's do that. Um, Open file. Check some control. Wrong. Save for fix. Fair enough. Okay, saved. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you, Salty. I'm glad that I went through that process because now I'll actually remember and I, I feel more like I understand why. Okay, so. Flashing is in progress. It may take more than a minute and yes, it absolutely will take more than a minute. Um, this seems like as good a time as any 
for me to have a quick bio break because it took a while last time. So I'm going to throw up the BRB screen and I'll be back in probably before that finishes, hopefully. Well, I lost the race, um, but my VBIOS was programmed successfully. Hooray! So, I guess let's find out if it worked. You have to reboot this system before the changes take effect. Whew. Let's go. That's a good sign. I mean, this is normal. Yeah, hey! We have display. Excellent. Right. So I wonder, will GPU-Z report different memory timings now? Salty says, now imagine me doing it with zero knowledge on how to do it. Yeah, that must have sucked. Um, yeah, so GPU-Z is reporting the new memory timings, I think. So the 1625 timings uh, at least at a glance look the same as 1375 which is what we tried Alex says wait a minute you just modded the mem timing strap from 1325 to a clock of 1650 that's correct yes uh, 1375 to 1625 but yeah basically um, so the reason for doing it that way is I'm probably going to be trying to run the memory timings that high um, uh, sorry the memory speed that high I am probably going to try and run memory clocks above 1625 um, and the stock clock is 1500 so if I modded the timings at 1500 and there was a problem then um, the card would just like not work whereas as it is um, 
these new timings will only even apply when I've overclocked it. It's actually a trick I saw Buildzoid use. Um, he's done it before. Because it, it means that I don't... Um, if there's a problem with these timings, they don't even kick in until I do this. Uh, which is 16 to 5, enter, apply, um, start render test. Well, that's working. It's running. Uh, Alright, so I think I was actually... Hold on. I think I may have been running 1750 before, but 1750, I haven't modded that timing strap. So, let's punch in 1749, and I was at 1300 core. And it was plus 100 millivolts. Yeah. So that runs at 1749 on the memory, so it should still be at the tighter timings. And with that punched in, let's give Vantage a whirl. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, it will either crash or it will spit out a better score. If it crashes, then we know that the process of the modding worked, which is really good. Um, but we need to do something a bit differently. Um, if it spits out a better score, then not only do we know that the process worked, uh, but also the timings work as well. So yes, uh, fingers crossed for a better score. Uh, I probably, I guess I ought to try to plug in the, uh, what's it, the 1325 timings for 1750, or was it 1370, the, the tighter timings for 1750 anyway, if this works. I heard a beeping noise there. I think that might have been coil wine. I haven't noticed coil wine from this card before. Interesting. Hmm. Can't really can't really hear anything now. Well That's um that's Vantage running. How are we doing on time? 1 hour 43, and we're at um, nearly 9pm. <coughs> so, the next thing to try after this... Yoz says, Fox is a lucky bastard. He stopped at an air gas on the way that I've been to like three times. They filled his 50 litre... They filled a 50 litre Dewar for free? Wow. Why? But yeah, once once this is done and assuming it's worked and everything, I guess um, the next step. He told them my name. <laughs> nice. The next step is cooler, I think. I think bigger cooler and I'll see if I can squeeze more core clock out of it. Um, he thought he'd get my rate of $1.40 to a litre and they just gave him a fucking free fill up instead. That's great. close all the various tabs about the um, 9590 now, can't I? Well. I need to think now, because my general plan is to stick with this GPU all week. It's the holidays. Reminds me of when I went to Dice Factory for Country Cups 2017 and they gave me £80 of scrap. For it. There's, there's such a thing as scrap dry ice? How does that happen? Yeah. 
I guess, assuming this goes well, so I can try even more core voltage um, by applying the core voltage in tricks and then the clocks in afterburner. Um, and I, I can see where that gets me. Um, for cooling, my plan is I'm going to use this heatsink um, with these fans, which you might recognize from the 7750 stream. It's um, the fans with the PCI bracket, so they sort of plug in underneath. Um, and I'll see where that gets me. Um, If I'm getting strong scores like that, then I guess next stream is just going to be scatter benching. Uh, I suppose. Um, if I still need to try and improve my score, then I might have to investigate VDDCI. I'm not sure if that's possible, if there's anything I can do there. Or I could look into hard mods. Or both. Uh, I don't think it, yeah, mm. it's 9pm now, I don't think, uh, well, I don't want to commit myself to anything, but I, I'm, I suspect I won't end up hard modding on this stream, um, other than, I mean, you know, cooling is not a hard mod, don't be silly. Oh, well, we're into physics. So... If the updated memory timings have worked, then you know not only have they worked, but they're passing, which means it was a very good call from Salty. And it also means this LP to RAM's not bad. I wonder if we could go even tighter. If you had the patience, I bet you could do a load of like trial and error on it. Hard mod the fans to spin good. Um not technically impossible, but I'd rather just upgrade the cooler. Oh, shit. What? I have never seen that before. That's a really weird error. And it, has my screen resolution gone weird? It has. That was weird. And that was in physics. I'm going to try and run physics again. Like Maybe it was just like bad luck. Salty says 1250 can work. Depends if you lose too much max clock or not. Yeah. Maybe this is a bit of a weird way to look at it, but I don't know. I mean, some part of me feels like I don't want to be one of those latency guys who's just like, oh, lower latency, don't care about clock. But I do wonder. I do wonder. So let's see if physics passes this time. Gotta love the warm up. Also I'm hungry, which is really annoying, because like I I ate like right before the stream. I mean I haven't had that much to eat today. But I ate right before the stream. Yeah. Okay, so physics passes. So now I have to run the entire benchmark again. I think my CPU settings might be slightly unstable or something, I don't know. It never seems to like the second run. So run the entire benchmark again and pray that it works. And 
Yeah, I just realised I should really double check that it's actually still overclocked. Yoz says you have more commitment to stream quality than me. I'd eat crisps on stream. Um, yeah. I. I mean, I'm 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 doing this for fun, like for me, but I I do want it to be good, you know, uh, w within what I can sort of reasonably do. You know, I I like it when people watch my streams, and, and so I I would rather that was an enjoyable experience. Anyway. Let's just run, uh, run Vantage again. Making it good can be part of the fun, so understandable. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting, like... I don't know. There's definitely a different vibe when you have, like, a camera pointed at the system and, like, an additional light on the system. I also have a lens hood on the camera now, which is completely unnecessary. Um... In fact, I could probably just, while that's running, it, like, it's not as if there's anything better to do. Um, well, the camera's completely lost focus now. Back you go. There we are. So, this is my lens hood. It's, like, not even a big lens hood. I got a bigger one, but it actually didn't uh, work properly on this camera. Completely unnecessary, but just makes it cut. Well, it keeps the dust from settling on it, I guess. Salty says, Gonna say it was fun seeing you have issues for an entire stream because you forgot about the power slider. <laughs> yeah, I. One of the things about streaming is when you're streaming, like, it makes you dumber. Um, you have more to think about, and so it's easier to miss things, like power sliders. Um, but, I mean, it, it was very funny. Um, right, let's get that lens hood back on anyway. Oh! <laughs> I'm guessing that came through on the mic. Um, okay, well, it's fine. But th that that was a hell of a drop. That was a proper like. Okay. There we go, and focus. Well, that got us, you know, me dropping a lens hood got us through Jane Nash, so uh, doing all that. I know I should really be, like, counting the frames or something. Uh, yeah. I also don't have anything in the house that would really qualify as a snack. I mean, I have things that are advertised as snacks, but like that's just because they want you to eat more. Um, yeah, here's a snack. It has five hundred calories. What? I mean, that, that's that's not a snack. That's a light meal. Yours says, I've heard some feeding marks the phone counter goes to the same number all the time, but scores different. So I'm not sure I trust the phone counter to mean anything. Um, I'm pretty sure it means something in 05. But it's not going to... Um, it's not going to be that precise, because it... Yeah, I'm not sure. 
but it, it definitely correlates with score to some extent but yeah it's not like a hundred percent uh salty says i always use it as a reference for good run or not yeah yeah uh, Yoss was also saying I should make good lighting, but I also probably need to upgrade from a basic webcam first. Maybe. It depends on the webcam. I mean, the thing is, I mean, if you look at the setup I've got right now, uh, this frame here is not very big. You could probably do that with a basic webcam, and it would not be ideal, but I, I don't think it would totally suck. Um... I don't know. Also, like, lighting, if you have good lighting, it makes it a lot easier on a bad camera. Um, like, the better the better lit something is, the more light is on it, then the easier the time that the camera's going to have. Um, I completely agree with what uh, Tech Tester just said, which is lighting is probably more important if you have a decent webcam, and audio is more important than either. Yeah, 100% completely agree with that. Um, at, at some stage, I should really see if I can get like a wireless mic pack, because uh, I had a clip-on mic, which was great, except it meant that I couldn't like sit back in my chair. I was constantly tense. Um, and that was not good for my back. Ooh, we have a score. It is 28555. Right. Let me check the title. What was our previous score? That is a nice... That's 400 points. Bit more than 400 points, actually. That is definitely worth saving. We are getting up there, that's good efficiency. Yeah. Uh, Yoz, you've been in my Discord all along, haven't you? So you'll remember like when I gave up on the uh, clip on mic, um, I was like testing a bunch of different mic setups. So most people probably don't have a lot of different microphones lying around. But yeah. Um, I have to say, like, Tech Tested streams, so Tech Tested does overclocking streams as well. Um, like, the setup is really, really good. Um, like, in terms of audio and, like, cameras and everything, it, it works really well. Um, Matt is more comfortable on camera than I am, um, so he has a face cam, which I don't, but yeah, it works brilliant. Two eight five five five. Um, two eight five five five. Okie dokie. Um, Matt says thanks. I do think your audio is better. My mic picks up a lot of fan noise. Ah, uh, maybe. The system's not that loud at the moment, which helps. Um, the microphone that I'm using is a Samson Meteor mic, uh, which, I mean, it's a standard, you know, cardoid pickup pattern, so. Yeah, I don't know. Um, since I want to push clocks, I'm just going to set like, I don't know, 1400 millivolts? Actually, no, no, no. 
Let's not do that. Because this is the stock cooler still. I, I'm not doing anything fancy with the cooling. So, yeah. I'm going to change the cooler next. Um, Salty says it will do 1.45 on good air cooling. I agree. Um, it's just that that is not good air cooling. Right. Uh, actually, I'm just I'm gonna pop you back in the top right because the camera's going for a ride and I don't want to make anyone seasick. Um, I loosened the wrong thing there. All right. There we go. have to uh, rejig that but uh, where's my screwdriver where actually is my screwdriver I have screwdrivers of course did I put them away I put them away right screwdriver uh, unplug the monitor lead unplug the power lead let's drive some screws <laughs> Yeah, Mom. There we go. All right. Smaller screwdriver. been watching like so many Linus Tech Tips videos recently just out of boredom and I've got this temptation to just be like lttstore.com which is in, in poor taste given how well they've been doing at getting their screwdriver sorted. Uh, I need to angle that camera down a bit more really don't I? I've never actually tried anything from LTT store. I cannot vouch for whether it's actually any good. Um, seems to me if you have something that works, just keep it. Um, I, I should shill other merch stores. Um, doesn't Tech Testers have a merch store with a Just Add Voltage mug? Um, there's the actually hardcore overclocking one. What's that? It's actually dash hardcore dash overclocking dot creator dash spring dot com or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Matt, do you, I guess as I'm like, I feel like in order to redress the balance of mentioning LTT store, um, I should let you link your merch store in chat or something. That seems fair, right? come off easily enough. Oh wow. Huh. Did I do that? Someone has spread that like and done a I mean a really good job of it if I'm honest. Let's uh I'll zoom in a bit and then I'll shift the card back into the picture. So that's a really like nice application there, um, except for the fact that it's gone all over the place on the copper base. Right. Come on. Uh, is the fan header coming with me? The fan header is coming with me. Wonderful. It's one of those cards. Right. I'm trying to 
see what I'm doing at that angle. Get that from there. Mm. There we go. Um, right. Put the old collar out the way. Um, oh, I should really put the screws in it to keep them safe. I need to get a better like workbench uh, set up or like have some idea what I'm doing when it comes to workbench and type stuff I can at least uh, move that into shot conscious of where my arms are relative to the lens as well I don't want to you know there's not much point you having a wonderful camera shot of my arms and no clue what's going on with the hardware uh, it does make it more difficult for me. There we go. That's interesting that there's a there's screws on the copper base. So there's presumably some kind of thermal interface in between the copper base and the aluminium fin stack. Which is interesting. Oh well, anyway, right. Okay, let's drop that down a little bit. There we go. Not cleaned off easily. It feels like Arctic MX2 or something. It feels like some kind of good thermal paste. So, next step is to offer that up. Will it actually fit? Ooh, I'm not convinced. I am not convinced. Is that interfering somewhere? Yeah, I think that's interfering with the VRM heatsink, you know? That's really annoying. Ah. Okay. Uh, I have a different cooler that would probably fit, and I put it back in the box. Uh, don't need VRM heatsinks. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, I actually probably don't realistically because I'm, I'm going to put a ton of airflow over this. It's come off cleanly. Nice. Uh, right, I should find a little uh, plastic bag of some sort to put in. 
Hang on, got one somewhere. Is that about right? Yeah, that'll do. Time for the Dremel. Uh, mm. I mean, if if it fits now, then it's true that just Dremeling down the top of the VRM heatsink a bit would mean I could remount it. But that feels both a little bit destructive and completely unnecessary. Hopefully, completely unnecessary. There we are, that's going to keep the thermal pad safe. Okay. Um. Right. Yep, yeah, and that's going to fit now. Oh, that PCIe connector is going to be awful. That's going to be horrendous. Oh well. Uh. So there are these uh, plastic bumper things, which I can try to fit. But I don't know, this adhesive has got to be ancient at this point. Destructive and completely unnecessary sounds like a plant. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I don't mind if something happens to the card. I would just prefer it to be for a reason. Ah, oh, it's actually the, the adhesive's still in good nick. That's uh, stuck on nicely. Good. Sorry, I'm just gonna. There we are. I cut my nails recently. Maybe that was a mistake. Should have just left one long one. Didn't Winston Churchill do that? Maybe being like Winston Churchill isn't ideal though. Right. Okay. Left little bumper in place. Good. Um. Right now, what? A about positioning. So there's a couple of screws either side that let the mount be slid up and down a little bit. Uh, I think it's fine where it is. Yeah, that's fine where it is. Um, okay. Uh, one long nail is usually for coke or cutting the cigars, depending which finger. The, uh, I think it's probably apocryphal. The thing I heard with Churchill was that it was about cigars, but yeah. Um, thermal paste. Uh, what do you reckon, MX2 or MX5? Uh, hmm. Fuck it, let's go MX5. I also have some fake cryonaut. At least I, th I think it's fake cryonaut. Some pomade should do the trick. 
Yes. I've seen that video. Smurfs jizz, says Salty. MX5 it is. Unless you mean the Kingpin stuff, which I don't have, but would probably be better. This is more like icing. You don't want to mix those two up. Also, that's definitely too much. That's loads, yeah. Uh, clean that excess off the spatula. Never too much paste. Uh, have you ever tried to clean MX-5? Oh, let me put it another way. Did you see the socket of my Unify X earlier? Let me, uh... Let me get it back out. You see that? That's what happens when you use too much MX-5. It's fine, but it looks awful. <sighs> right, what was I doing? Um, Spreading thermal paste. Yep, that should be fine. Um, on cold it's freaking cement yeah yeah it's interesting actually if you warm MX-5 up like even just like you know 10-20 degrees at ambient it does get a lot runnier okay let me just double check that this um Screwdriver's gonna work. Yep, that seems fine. Uh, I probably want to elevate the heatsink a bit, ideally, uh, if I can. I have a random cooler here that has an Arctic 80 mil fan on it for some reason. So if I Put the heat sink on top of that, and that way the card will rest on top of it the way that I want it to. Oh, and I'd better remember the washer. Okay. Well, that washer went well, didn't it? Let's, um, what I'll do is I'll get a couple of screws in place to locate the heatsink without worrying about the washer. And then I'll get screws on, um, with the washer. And then I'll tighten up screws in all locations of the washers. There we go. the heat sink located. I'll pick that up. Okay, that works. My arm is now blocking all of the light, isn't it?
Now. This is also more difficult to do. Right. One more screw and then I just need to make sure they're all tight. Seems fine. Alright then. <laughs> That's um, quite the angle there. That is just natural for the heatsink, I think. God, that's really weird though. Like. Yeah, that's a very clear angle. That six pin is going to be a complete pain to plug in. Um, I'm actually just going to. I think I'll make it. Ugh. Right. Well, um, time for a camera move. So, um, yeah, if you're seasick. Um, look away now. There we go. So I'm going to pull the system a little closer. There we are. Okay, let's um now I need to deal with the six pin. So it's not gonna be that fun. Hopefully it could be worse. Oh god. Ah not happy about this. Where's I have another daisy chain, don't I? Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I 
kind of want to use the end of that one and then it's not going to put so much pressure on it hopefully yeah that's all right now fans are the fans going to fit directly underneath that you know not spit out the word that or anything but you know that go on go on Oh, they actually might, you know. Oh, come on. No, I don't think so. I think that's a no. Alright. One more slot cover off then. plug in the f bottom fan now. It's going to be a right pain to reach once I'm done. Okay, that's more like it. That locates my problem. There we are. Okay. Uh, I, I really need to find a fan splitter for these because this is a bit silly, but it's doing it up here. Because that's where there's another fan header. help that I lose all of the light when my hand is up there. Hold on. Where's my phone? If I have that on top, that might give me a bit more light, hopefully. Yeah, that helps. You can see a little bit of what's going on rather than none. Hey! Good. Whew. Well. Put the GPU in. Um, right, I'm going to drop down the camera a bit again. a bit. I want, the, I want the postcode to be visible. Just, you know, in case that ever comes up. There we are. That's a completely different camera position to what it was before. Um, but whatever, it'll do. It's not completely different, it's pretty different. <sighs> This is the moment of truth, then, I suppose. Step one, does it work? That's an interesting noise. What's making that? Aha! You know what? just kill that quickly. So, 
this lower fan cable was getting uh, stuck in the fan and that's why it was buzzing so I need to stow that in some way and I would rather not do that with the fan spinning. Uh, do I have zip ties to hand? Or tweezers? No? Hmm. See just pushing it has moved it and it's not doing the same thing now but I, I'm super not comfortable with relying on that. Can I like push it down this gap in the case? Maybe. Ooh, maybe not. Go on. Go on. Go in there. Yes. It's now stuffed behind the motherboard. Perfect. Right. Hopefully is normal. Uh, the frustrating thing is I'm getting really tired now, but I'm, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna persist um, at least until I don't know. I want to make sure it's no worse than before. Salty telling y'all about rare cards. Oh no. He's definitely going to buy it, you know. Oh, I should uh, give you the system view. Ah. Um, is that crop alright? Uh, it's not perfect. Let's push the camera over a little bit. There we go. So, step one. Card not dead. It's a very good start. I'm always pleased when the cards are not dead. Uh, step two, idle temperatures. Not that bad. The, I didn't check the idle temps before, to be honest. Salty says doubt Yoz is that stupid, and then the reason that Yoz gives for not buying it is, is that he's trying to get hold of a Phenom 2 tweaker. So, I... I mm. Anyway, so temperatures in, fuck me, okay. So temperatures in render test immediately spiked to 80 degrees. Um, <coughs> so I think it's safe to say that's not working right. Um, you can see there are maximum 80 degrees in render test, and that, that's after moments. Alright, I'm going to kill that. Uh, so. Temperature spiking massively almost immediately means bad thermal paste contact. Like the cooler is not contacting the core properly, is what that means. Um... Given that I'm a bit tired, given that I'm kind of sleepy, um, I think the cooling of this GPU going forwards is a problem that I'm going to have to solve off stream. Uh, so, yeah. Clearly, there's a problem. Let me um, let me unmount it. I'm going to take the camera for a ride once more. Brace yourselves. Going up. Aiming down. Let's, let's not go too far. Let's down there. That seems to be fairly reasonable. So, oh, I'm going to have to unplug the fucking six pin as well. That's going to be a pain. Let's unmount the GPU and let's find out what's gone wrong with the cooling first. As um, it's not the 
fans aren't attached because it wouldn't shoot up that quickly. Ah, uh, screwdriver. The tech test has suggested some strapping an AIO to it, which the problem with that, the problem with strapping an AIO to it, is that the mounting holes on this card, which you can't see at the moment, are really small. Um, so an AIO would actually like not fit. Can I? You know what I need right now? Q release. There we go, right. So. I have no hope of getting that to six pin off. Other than by unmounting the cooler. Realistically. Um, C clamp. No. Um, I have no comment about the idea of using a C clamp other than no. Um, for further insight, ask Yoz what happened to his Vega. That's a terrible angle, isn't it? Um, let me I'll push the camera over here and spin it around a bit. The good news is that the thermal paste has definitely not stuck it down, but I think that maybe explains some things as well. Hold on. Yeah, that looks alright. Wow. Yeah. So that has barely been disturbed. Um. Yeah, I mean, no wonder the temperature shot up. Um, okay. Because that is like, it has barely made contact. Let me hold that one up to the camera. And actually angle it correctly. Like, the white balance isn't working that well, but like, yeah. You, you can see it's um it's not really made contact so uh, why I'm what was it the choke on the memory VRM maybe so if I kind of no. No, that should be fine. I don't understand why it didn't work. Like, just mounting it by hand, like, that worked. That's weird. Okay, well, um... It's late and I'm tired. And if I'm tired, I'm more likely to make mistakes. So, I think this is a problem that I should solve another time. I'll um, I'll sort out some kind of cooling upgrade off stream, and then I'll I'll post about it in the Discord, and I will see you lovely people on Saturday, hopefully.
Uh, sorry, that came off as really like I, no pressure or anything. Like there will be a vod, and like if you miss the stream and you want to see the vod, it it will be on Twitch. And if you yell at me, I will put it up on listed, uh, unlisted on YouTube without the timestamps early and link you to it. Um, but yeah, uh, I will post on the Discord about um how it goes and about the next stream, which hopefully is going to be on Saturday. And hopefully next stream will be a 260x with upgraded cooling of some description. I will sort something out. Uh, so yes, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll see you then. Uh, cheers and goodbye.